channel. My name is Ify. I'm the creative director of Ify Stitches. I'm here to teach you how to make this ball dress. But before I start, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do. And also, please don't forget to like and share this video if you like to share it to your friends and so that they can also learn. And please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so um, in this tutorial, I'm here to teach you how to make this beautiful dress you can see right here so i'm making it for a one year old so whatever i'm doing you use your own um measurements to make yours so whatever i'm using now it's for a one year old okay so before i start i'm going to show you the materials i'll be using so i already have my drafted bodies i already have my drafted bodies my front bodies and my back bodies i have my crinoline so you can see that um, i have two colors of crinoline here because i'll be mixing two colors so this pink will be for this pink organza while this uh, this sort of like ash um, because i didn't see this shade of yellow and i didn't see the transparent um so when I try this ash, I think it worked. So I'll be using these two colors of crinoline. Then I'll also um, be using this is my template. Can I keep it? I'll also be using Estee. This is cotton Estee. I'm using it to interface my bodies. Then I'll be using satin. So actually, this satin is going to be my main fabric. You can decide to use whatever you want. You can use Ankara, you can use Flower Doganza, you can use Duchess, anything you want to use. So, but for this tutorial, I'll be using this satin. Then I also have a template of my peplum because the lower part is going to be cut in circles. And because this is not a stable fabric, I don't want to start drawing chalk on organza. You know how it's, it is. It's not stable. So I have like two different sizes here. I'll be explaining their sizes when I'm about to cut on the organza. Then what else? Okay, then we have our organza here. The two colors, as you can see. This is a very light yellow and fuchsia pink. So, with all that, then your fabric, your fabric scissors, paper scissors, your pins and the rest. So, with that, we'll be starting by altering our bodies. So, we'll altering this body to our preferred style now. So, let's start with our front. Let's start with our front now. This is the front. Okay. So this is the front. I'm going to be giving it like a sweetheart shape like this. Remember as a child and you don't want to expose so much. So I'm going to be giving sort of like a sweet hat like this. Then, so I'll be cutting here off. I will be using here. So this is my center front. Let me just reveal one here. Then for the back, I'm just going to sort of like give a straight line. Yeah. Let's cut. Just like a straight line. You can decide to make yours curve or whatever you want. Then another thing I'll be doing is that, you know it has like a lacing system at the back. So, okay, and this pattern already has a seam. Um, it already has seam allowance, zip allowance. So I'll be taking off my, my zipper allowance that is here. First of all. So this is my zipper allowance. 
so i'm taking it off i'll take this off i'll take this off then i also need space for my lacing system because we don't want it to be closed we need you to see a little bit of the back so now i will come and take another one inch Oh, let me do one and a quarter. Because she's a small child. Okay. So this extra one and a quarter I'm taking is for the lacing. So here is also going. So this will be my new center back. I'll be working with looks so small, right? She's one less. So let me also write one here. So this will be my phone. my front while this will be my back so for the up i'll be cutting it on this satin i'll be cutting it on this satin twice so that one will be the main fabric and one will be the lining so i'm cutting two of this two of the front and two of the back then i'll also be cutting it on sd here that's not twice this time around that's i'll be only in, i'll only be interfacing the main fabric that's what i mean so this is just the one so i'll cut this why this i'll cut twice so i'll also show you when i cut it okay so i have cut some um, i've cut this is the back of satin so I have four here, two will be my main fabric, and those two that will be my main fabric, I'll be interfacing with SD, cutting SD. So I have two here, I have four here. So I went ahead to add my sewing allowance. Then this is my front. I also cut my interfacing. So I just have one pair, uh, one one of fold and then um, let me just use the front to show you okay. so, so that you don't mix when i'm saying cut one and cut two so i have two unfold here if you notice i also added my allowance so so i'll have one of these and two of these so i'll interface this like this and this will be my main fabric why this one you can try to put paper stay or still put an interfacing but this will be my what lining so this is what i mean and you can see i notched my middle I notch my center front at the waist. So that is that for the bodies and cut. So let's go back to cut for the lower part. So this is what I'll be using. I showed you organza at the beginning of the video as part of our materials to be used. So we're cutting this in like a circular form, like a peplum. So for those that don't know how to cut the peplum i'm going to be showing you this so because the fabric was big i don't want to start dragging fabric up and down so i had to like oh um, take an estimate not offhand though i used my pattern to take an estimate of what i'll be needing and i cut rectangles like this of this yellow 
in four places because I'm going to have four of them on top and four of them below. That's four of the yellow and four of the pink. So what I did is that I cut a rectangle that would fit into the size of peplum I want. So this is what how I cut my peplum. Well, this is how a peplum is cut. You fold into two and then you fold along the folded edge, you fold again into four. Can we see? So this is like for a full circle. So I said I was going to talk about my patterns, my peplum patterns. So you know on a normal day to cut this full circle you calculate the radius you want and the length and you start marking and marking and marking and marking but i said this is a delicate fabric it's not strong it's very light marking marking on each of them will take time so i decided to do my marking on a cardboard paper so that i will just place it like this and cut and this was the template I used in getting my rectangle. You can see I just left small here, small here, so that I'll be sure it will accommodate it instead of dragging the full fabric. So what I did is that I cut this main rectangle four times, and now I'm going to be cutting the peplum out of it. So now I have placed my peplum, and okay, what radius do you want to use? I want to gather a little at the waist. A little, not a little. We are not gathering. We are gathering at the waist. So what I used here for this one year old is five. Can you see? What I used here is five. Five, 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 five. And for each layer, I will have two. So by the time I cut it, I will join it with another one to get that fullness. So I'm not just using this one for my first layer. I'll be using two. If you know what um, 720 peplum is, that's what exactly what I'll be using. And even this five alone, we got that for a one year. But I really want that fullness. I really want that bouncing effect. That's why I'm going to gather. For my one year, we got to use this radio five. And the length of my peplum is 12. The length of my peplum is 12. So what I did was 5 and then 17 so that I can get my 12. Do you understand? So the length I use for the yellow is 12. For the pink, I'm using a bigger one because I need the pink to show a little bit under. So if you see, I'm still using the radius 5, but this time around, my length is 14. Do you understand? So, the longer one should carry your final length. And when you are cutting this length, what you should put into consideration is that you're going to sew half an inch into the bodies and you're going to turn it down with crinoline. And you know, turning with crinoline, you turn the first one and when you bend it, almost one inch is gone. So, put all those things into consideration when cutting the length of your um, peplum, your organza. So, this is for the yellow, why this will be for the pink. So, yellow on yellow, wow. I hope you can see. So, I will just place, making sure it's aligned. I'll just place my pink cushion on it. And I will follow. You can see it's easy as I have cut as I have uh, cut it on the cardboard initially. Now I don't have to start dragging it's a fabric that is not stable. So now this and this is not needed. I'll do away with it. Set aside my peplum. So like I said. I'm going to be having two of these at the top. So what I will do, these two folded edges, I will notch it. You notch one actually, and then the one you do not notch, you open it. So now this is what I have. You can 
see, even this for a one year old waist would be gathered already. But I want two of this. This will just be like only the front. And when I put my premium, it will, it will really shoot. So I've gone ahead to cut the rest offline. That's what I was trying to bring. So, like I said, I have four of this and four of this. So this is one two three four so this four i will join these two as one and i will join these two as one so i'll be having two layers of yellow and two layers of pink so i'll be joining this when i mean joining these two i'll show you in the machine because i've opened them like i opened the one i showed you i'll take one edge and join So that this whole thing will be one layer. So one joining will be at my center front and the other one will be at my center back. So this is like all we have to cut for the dress. Apart from the satin that will be under the these two layers. So I'll be using this smaller one so that my satin will not really show. I'll be using this to cut exactly like this to cut my like lining that will be under this organza. Just one of this and I'll be cutting it. Then, okay, my rope that will be attached to the dress and then the lace inside. I will prepare everything and we'll start sewing. Okay, so we're about to sew now. I'm joining the sides of the main bodies. That's the one with the interfacing. So I'm just joining the sides. Whatever allowance you kept on your um, pattern when you were cutting, that's what you should be joining by now. So alongside, I'm also joining the sides of the lining. You can see. So like I said, Whatever you kept is what you should sew. You know, I said this is for a one year old. I actually kept one inch as my side seam allowance. So that is what I am joining now. Then <clears throat> I've all, I'm also joining the one for the lining at once. So this is how it looks like now. Remember I said I was going to prepare a loop that is going to be for the lacing system so right now i'm just going to like create a loop just a long strip that i'm just going to fold um to make a loop for the back so i have to place the loops at the back yeah i have to like mark where i'll be placing my loop because i need it to be evenly distributed so Right now, I'll be cutting about like an inch and a half of little, little strips. And then I'll just sew them on the main fabric on the back. That's at the center back. I'll just sew some loops right there. So if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like. And please don't forget to share and also subscribe so that you can see more of my videos when i upload them so i'm still trying to put loops at the back and i'm done putting the loops at the back of the put side so i'll be turning it with um, lining on the neckline before i turn with lining i'm trying to sew my long strip that will go into the lacing because like you can see at the thumbnail you see that it's the spaghetti strips that I still use to lace the dress. So I'm insert, I'm trying to put it and make sure that they are both on the same side. That's fold your fa your fabric in your s into two. That's fold it along the center front and mark where you be <coughs> putting it. Sorry about that. And mark where you place it. So after um pinning it down sewing it down i'm trying to turn the bodies with the lining so you can see before turning it i pinned everywhere together so that i don't have any 
um like so i will sew it well i will not have any excess anywhere so um this is me sewing the whole neckline i'm whole i'm just turning the whole upper part with the lining so after turning it i will clip every sharp corner notch every curve and then i'll understitch it if you don't know what understitching means understitching is at attaching your seam allowance with your lining on the neckline side so that it doesn't come out of the main it doesn't show when you're wearing it like your lining will not show so i'm notching before you you know whenever you sew a curve you are meant to notch so i'm notching the armhole and everything so that is me now trying to understitch the whole um thing i just sewed so after understitching it i'll turn it inside out and then i'm going to give it a good press that's before at adding um your lower parts just make sure you have ironed everywhere properly so this is what it looks like so before ironing it so i'm going to take it and iron it okay so after turning the um what do you call it the upper part the lacing part too needs to be turned that's your center back that's just what i'm doing now turning the center back with the lining so that everywhere will be sealed inside and only your lacing um only your lacing loops will be showing so and then don't forget to also cut off anything that will be bulky inside so this is what it looks like before ironing it that's what it looks like before ironing it so after ironing it you can see how flat it is i inserted my label and then it's now time to sew our organza part so like i told you the organza is 720 so i'm taking two of the circles of the yellow one i'm going to be sewing it as a french seam you know organza phrase and because i'm joining it at the center front I also don't want to just do unnecessary weaving that will show why I on the dress. So that is why I'm doing sewing a French seam. So a French seam um, is just sewing, instead of sewing um, right sides together, you first of all sew wrong sides together, then you reduce your sewing allowance, then you turn it and then you sew the right sides together now so that's what i just did you know organza doesn't have front and back so i took anyway as my front and uh, as my right side so now i've sewn the wrong sides together and i've turned it to sew the right side if you don't understand this please let me know in the comment section so i can make a clearer video of what french seam is it will just give me a neat finishing i won't have to weave i won't have that fraying edge edges outside and everything so this is what it looks like this is our french seam you can't see the edges so that's what i did then now i'm going to go over to gather it i'm just going to gather it by running a basting stitch on the waist <coughs> that's the upper part of the peplum so a basting stitch you just put your um stitch length to the highest position and then sew through it so that you can now gather by pulling it i remember when i was cutting i notched i notched the place so that place is going to help us gather it evenly if you don't know about that on my last video on ball dress i showed you how to gather evenly i showed you how to match the notches below so this is me trying to gather it now if you're watching this video and you're so much interested in in ball dresses i have an online class that teaches you how to make eight different types of ball dresses six different types of tutu for just a token of 
how much again? Five thousand naira or so. Um, if you're interested in joining the class, you can chat me up on WhatsApp. I'll be leaving my WhatsApp link in the description box so now that i have gathered it evenly and pinned it according to where i notched i'm sewing it to the bodies remember i said we'll be having two layers of the yellow and two layers of the pink so this is just the first layer the first layer has two circles second layer has two circles third layer has two circles and the fourth layer has two circles just like that so now i have gathered the first layer just for the video not to be too long i'll do the same thing for the remaining three layers that's the remaining one layer of yellow and the remaining two layers of pink so i'll be doing that off line so that the video will not be long so this is the second layer i'll attach it just on the waist the way i did the first one so now i have added the four layers so we can see how it looks like the dress is coming out beautifully i remember i told you i was going to cut a satin using that first peplum we used and like i said i will also notch it and i'm pinning my notches now you can see that this satin i'm sewing it from the other side so that when it covers you will not have this um, rough edge touching the child's waist so you can see that i'm not sewing it on top of the pink rather i'm sewing it from the other side of the body so that when it falls the inner part of the dress will be neat and the child might not have to complain in scratching me so now i'm just going to sew the satin this satin is actually acting like a lining it is our lining so you see when i turn it it's going to look very neat so i'll just sew along the waistline like i've been doing but like i said on the opposite side please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share my video if you like the video please don't forget to like it also so i have just turned with the satin and you can see how the inside will now look very neat just as beautiful as the outside looks like we know they are children so that they don't complain so for what is left is um to close the side of the lower part now you remember it is loop there's no zip so i'm going to be attaching just like two to three um extra loops on the organza part so that we can lace it up to after our waist we can lace it down there so i'm just attaching extra loops on the organza on the yellow part of the organza the very first layer so after that i'll be using my lining to i'll be using my lining to turn that part i put the loop so because this dress is um has crinoline down at the end of um uh, or the at the tip of every layer there's crinoline so at the end of the center back everybody should be on their own when i mean everybody i mean the yellow satin should be joined by itself the red organza should be joined by itself and everything so now I just closed it to an extent I did not close it all the way down that's I didn't turn the lining with the I did not turn it with the organza fully what I just did I turned to after where the loops are and I stopped so I did that for the second side so after turning it like that you will now come and start picking them see I'm picking the yellow organza and I'll sew it on its own just together by itself only the organ only the yellow organza the only the yellow satin sorry so it's the satin i'm just sewing so that when you want to turn with crinoline you won't have an obstruction at the center back then i also try to pick the pink to sew it but i remembered i have to use pink thread so i 
losing it and that's why i stopped i just losing it then i went to for the yellow so when i'm about to sew the pink crinoline i will first of all close the center back of the crinoline so you can see i pinned the first one separately so that it will not obstruct my sewing so now i'm sewing the center back of my organza just to where i turned with lining so after doing that i will go for the yellow the second yellow one and just sew it together so with this at the base everybody's on their own that's every layer is on their own so your crinoline can peacefully go around without any obstruction so after doing this i think it's time for us to start um inserting our crinoline so like i said i using um like an ash crinoline a very light ash because it didn't really show i didn't get the shade of this and it's not that bad when attaching it so this is just um me trying to fold the edge then i go to the center back that place i just sewed and that is where i'll be starting my crinoline sewing from so basically to sew a crinoline see i really wanted you to see what i was doing so i had to like um shift my camera so i'll just sew the crinoline to the right side first of all you sew it to the right side just at the edge there so you can see how i sewed it to the edge get to the end i cut it and sort of like do an overlap so that they don't itch the child or you don't have to touch the child or anything so after doing that i will now turn it i will now turn it and then sew the other side so you can see after after turning it i will now sew the upper part oh sorry this organza is blocking and i hope there's a clearer video so i'm now sewing this upper part you can see where the second stitch is so that's why i said when cutting your peplum make room for this extra fold that will be on the lower part so this is what i'll just do till i get to the other end where i started from and then i'll be repeating the same thing for the th other three layers and then for the lining you can either weave it or also sew it maybe with a smaller crinoline and after that you would see that um your dress will come out very beautiful so you can see the second the top the top the, the stitching i stitched on the top that i'm stitching right now so after doing all this your dress will come out beautiful you know you have to sew it on the three on the four layers that's after this one you have three more layers to sew this crinoline so the only thing about this dress that it's your money is actually your crinoline every other um, fabric is just small small pieces so i ended up using um four yards of the yellow organza and five yards of the pink organza and here's our final look i just decided to attach something pink because the up was looking so Plain. thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like and share thank you